This is the drone cam view of the bucket being filled. It's being filled with aggregate and the aggregate has been filled with Gordon Ramsay precision. Hello everyone, my name is Haseeb Taj. I'm a civil uh, structural engineer. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about different mixing techniques of concrete. So before we start the video, I just want you to know that the concrete is made by just four ingredients. One is water, one is cement, one is coarse aggregate, crushed stone, and one is sand. So crushed stone and sand make uh, up most of the volume of the concrete and water and cement makes the, the slurry that binds all the uh, things together. So in order to mix the concrete, it's very uh, important that we mix it properly and mix it in a proper recipe. There are different recipes that we use, different proportions of cement, water, aggregate and sand in which we make concrete for different strength, strengths. The strength of a concrete uh, depends on the amount of water, the amount of cement, the amount of aggregate, the amount of uh, fine aggregate. The most important thing is water cement ratio. Water cement ratio is simply the ratio of water to the ratio of cement in the concrete mix. Uh, if you keep on adding more water, the strength will go down. And then uh, if you keep on adding more cement, the strength will go up, things like that. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you a batching plant where we batch the concrete properly in proper recipe and then other techniques that, that are used for uh, making the concrete. So let's start. So let's start with the rotating drum mixer. I'm just going to give you the basics of how concrete is mixed. This here is the bucket where we uh, feed all the material to the mixer. This is the mixing drum. When it revolves on one side, it mixes the concrete and when it revolves on the other side, it throws the concrete from the other side and then we put it in wheelbarrows and then just place it where, wherever we want to place it. So here I'm going to show you how we feed that mixer. Uh, we have this box here. Uh, we fill this box up and then we feed the mixer with different recipes. Uh, we f on on field we do the recipe mixing by it uh, in terms of volume, not in terms of weight. So this box has a volume of 2.5 cubic feet. One cement bag has the volume of 1.25 feet. So this bag has a volume of 1.25 feet and this box has a volume of 2.5 feet which means that this box contains two times the uh, the volume of cement that a bag holds so we fill this up with sand so uh, the ratio is one ratio two ratio four one being cement two being sand and three uh, four being uh, crushed stone so we fill one box with sand put it in the bucket of the mixer we fill two uh, boxes of crushed aggregate and we put it in the back of a uh, mixer so this recipe is called one to four uh, ek do char in our language so this one to four is the volume of cement to sand to crush one to four this recipe usually changes this recipe specifically is for 3000 psi uh, compression strength concrete but it changes typically if we want to have a lesser amount of concrete or more uh, lesser amount of strength or more amount of strength so this is how we feed it so here we see a typical mixer being fed with uh, sand. The sand is a bit more in the box. So they're coming, they'll pour, put the crush in the sand in the box like this. So now we'll start off with the real thing, the batching plant. This is how the concrete is uh, made in the world right now. This is how it's done. So here you see the silo where the cement is stored. Uh, here you see the hoppers where the aggregate is stored. Here is the main mixer which feeds the transit mixer, the truck that is standing right beneath the mixer. This transit mixer is then uh, fed with concrete and the transit mixer then transports the concrete to wherever it is needed. Uh, different transit mixers are used in different uh, ways and different transit mixers come to this side, this batching plant to uh, get uh, the concrete. This is another uh, transit mixer that is coming this transit mixer has a drum uh, behind its back the drum is filled with concrete the drum is then uh, rotated in order to uh, keep the concrete as it is uh, in order to prevent the concrete from setting uh, the drum uh, revolves around you can see that uh, transit mixer usually on the roads this is how the, that transit mixer is fed here you see one transit mixer going and the other one reversing into the place into the mixer underneath the mixer this is the main mixer right here the mixer then feeds the transit mixer uh, like this 
the transit mixer reverses into a position where it is fed with concrete the concrete is made in the batching plant in a proper way the recipe is pinpoint precise this is how it's fed here we see a typical uh, typical transit mixer feeding a concrete pump the concrete pump then transports the concrete pumps the concrete through this red pipe to wherever it is needed this is how this is done here you see a close up of the concrete mixer right here this is the bucket that usually goes in and gets fed with aggregate and uh, under uh, under the hoppers there is a conveyor belt you can see the black conveyor belt that is uh, gives the aggregate and the aggregate is stored on site like this this loader will take the aggregate in its bucket and then uh, transport this aggregate to the hoppers and this will keep on filling the hoppers so that the hoppers can feed the conveyor belt and the conveyor belt underneath will then feed the bucket and the bucket will then give it to the mixer this is how it's done there are different hoppers for different sizes of aggregate and then there is uh, another hopper for sand this is how it's done there is also a water storage unit on the back the water is taken from there uh, here you can see the bucket going down to get fed with the concrete and the cement here is the control center where you control the ag aggregate uh, uh, volume and uh, sizes here is the water tank now let me show you the exact process of uh, filling the bucket the hoppers will throw the precise amount of aggregates on the conveyor belt and the conveyor belt will throw the precise amount of aggregate into the bucket this is uh, Gordon Ramsay precision here at work. <laughs> this is how it's fed. The bucket is filled with aggregate and sand. When the bucket is full of the desired amount of material, it goes up to feed the main mixer. This is how it's go it goes up. Now it's feeding the main mixer. The main mixer is fed by concrete, uh, the, by cement on the other side from the silos, the aggregate here and water. There is another pipe of water that goes in gives a precise amount of concrete then the mixer will uh, mix it all up and feed it to the transit mixer now we're on the ground here is where they stock all the materials and these trucks are the ones that transport all the material here we see the tm the mixer the control center my friend ali is going to the control center right now so this is the whole assembly these are the cement storage silos on the left this is the whole assembly of the batching plant and almost everywhere in the world it's exactly the same Here's another angle, there's a mixer, there's a transit mixer, that's a control center on the right. On the left you can see the tall uh, concrete silos, here is the mixer that mixes all the concrete. These are the cement silos, this is the uh, hopper assembly. All the material is uh, stocked here, the, uh, the machine, the loader then transports the material like this to the hoppers this uh, process keeps on uh, getting repeated the hoppers are being filled all the time uh, this is the control center there this is uh, from where you control the amount of all the ingredients and uh, the mixing time and the amount of cement the amount of water and everything that is uh, going into the mixer here we can see the mixer feeding the transit mixer here and this is how it's done here you can see the conveyor belt up close the hoppers then throw the material on the conveyor belt the conveyor belt then feeds this bucket and this buckets uh, uh, like i have shown it before goes up on this rail this diagonal rail and then feeds the mixer the mixer then throws it down to the transit mixer and then the transit mixer goes away this is how the concrete is pumped the transit mixer uh, feeds the concrete pump the concrete pump then throws it pushes it through this red pipe this boom onto the site where the concrete is needed right now we are uh, throwing pouring concrete for our uh, foundations here we are uh, this is my friend talat doing this uh, camera work thank you talat and uh, this is my site currently uh, a lot of people are here eating food this is my father my friend fawad jawad Asif Mir having a good time and uh, here is uh, the mobilization is down on my side this is the steel yard the hotel 
this is barbecue for me. <laughs> we like to have a good time while the concrete is being done. So this is how all the concrete is placed. Uh, it is uh, leveled by the laborers like this. The pipe that you can see is now throwing the concrete where it's needed. The bottom left side of the screen shows a wire that is the vibrator. We then vibrate the concrete to get rid of the bubbles. And this is how the whole process is done. Now this is a bonus for you. This is another way of doing it. This is the Chinese way of doing it. This is a smaller batching plant or a bigger mixer. Here you can see the same bucket being fed with cement and uh, now this mixer is a bit big and right in front of the mixer you can see the stationary concrete pump. The red pipe then transports the concrete to wherever it is needed. Uh, this is an amazing thing that the Chinese did. This is very <laughs> cost effective. It's more expensive than the mixer but it's very useful uh, uh, and how it's done you can see the, this uh, concrete drum is now feeding the bucket right in front. Uh, this bucket is actually of the stationary pump. This stationary pump then pumps the concrete through this pipe and this pipe you can just put it anywhere on site and this pump will just transport it on the, the place where it is needed. This is uh, the place where it is needed. This is how it's pumped out. It's, an, it's a very economical way of doing stuff and this is uh, done by a lot of companies from China. You can import it now and it's, uh, this is an economical way. You see here it's quite versatile. You can put this mixer anywhere and you put the pipe anywhere. You don't need transit mixers. You don't need a lot of money. You don't need a lot of settings. You just fill this up and your thing is done. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd love to answer them. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks a lot.